What can a student do for their education? Can they be effective? These questions and many others like these were in the head of a bunch of 10th grade students last year. And we wanted to do our part. So we created a team to make difference. At the beginning, we didn't have any specific plan or structure. Also, lots of our friends and classmates mocked us and they said, you want to be the change maker of education? And we didn't have much experience in these type of works, but we kept moving forward. Our first work started with an idea from one of my friends that was studying physics for physical Olympiad exam. He said, boys, do you like physics? None of us like physics referring to our school books. But he said physics is really different from what you think about it. He said, have you ever thought why when your clothes dry, they become darker? I thought I, it happens nearly every day in my life and I, I have never asked myself why and how. And also, how does it exactly relate to physics? So we planned the physics contest based on similar question. The question that was based on our everyday life and that really challenged students. Each team with three students had to answer each question in half an hour. After the exam, we had some workshops like time, about physics concepts like time traveling, physics magic, and so on. Our main goal was to do something to students after the event think different about physics. And also, I can say everything has done, have done by a student, from designing the question, planning the event, and so on. And because we didn't have any sponsors, the tickets were a little, a little higher than normal. And we thought at most 150 students will attend, but surprisingly about 500 students attend. I don't want to say after this event all of the students are falling in love with physics, but I can say that they are thinking about physics different from the past. But the best thing happened after this experience was that the I can make change a spark in the school and the idea that raised in some of the students. Also some of the teachers became eager and started giving us some ideas for our future works. Meanwhile, one of the students came and said, to encourage a student to read more books, we can create a club to, that called Reading Book Club. At first, we had some problems in the club. We wanted to gather weekly and discuss about a book that introduced the previous week. But we didn't have a proper place to gather. For example, we used to gather in a bookshop that was crowded and noisy and people looked at us as some aliens and so. It wasn't the best one, uh, but things got little by little better. After that, now we now have a good place to gather like a book cafe and more students are coming and although I read many books but it changed me through the same book in my view and also it made me to read more books. After one or two of these activities I realized that I got infected by ISDST. It was not only me but also all of our teams and many other students that have you ever heard that virus? It stands for I should do something too. For example, this year one of my friends came to me and said, do you have any plan for this such of activities this year? I said, yeah. He said, everything you want to do, I'm in. I said, and I, when we, uh, we looked at the school, we see many students thinking about this the same. A group of students wanted to organize a math contest, a group of students wanted to create a literature club, and also many others wanted to do many other kind of things. Also, who had helped us in these activities before wanted to continue again because we they had because of two reasons. First, they had experienced a unique good feeling, and then because they have learned about it so much. The unique good, about the unique good feeling, I can say, for example, for myself, after we had organized the TEDx, a person came to me and said, "You have changed my life." I said, "Why? How?" He said. Before this, I didn't have much goals and ideas, but after that, I got some ideas and goals, and it made me so passionate about going to school. And I have also learned a lot about these activities. For example, from negotiating, talking, discussing, planning the event, and so on. Although for doing this, I have to forget some short-term fun, or I have watched, for example, fever movies, but because of that two reasons, I'm really passionate about doing these two. 
After this, the biggest thing we understood was that we students are the most powerful and effective person who can change education. Because of two reasons. First, we are the most engaged person with studying, school, and education. So it's obvious that we know the problems and solutions better than anyone else. And also, because we really want change, we are so passionate about this acti doing these activities, even without any regards. I don't want to say that we can revolutionize the education system and make big things, but we can make big impacts by doing some small things and it happens in the way of thinking for example as i said the physics contest didn't teach students a lot about physics but it changed their way thinking about physics also the reading book club didn't change made them to read many books but it changed their attitude about a book or chart books in general and at the end i want to say that if we have done this before, we are not some highly talented, well-skilled student. We were normal, ordinarily like most of you, but we believe that we can make difference. Also, I want to say that we must do something for future students as they have, as past they have done for us. And never forget that quote from Nelson Mandela that says, education is the best way, best weapon to change the world. And I think it's student time to use that weapon and change the world for themselves and their children. Thanks.